<clears throat> finding our comfortable seat, finding this space. Arriving in this community, this friendship. Oh. Feeling the space around us. And maybe scanning the body from the toes to the head. Just noticing if there's anything that feels particularly pleasing, like, oh, I feel really loose in my tops of my feet. Oh, I feel some lightness in my shoulders or my neck. Maybe your next breath, scan from toes to the head and thank your body. Just thank it. As we continue with our breath, just dropping into this space, recognizing that we have a physical body. And now laying the foundation for our practice today, you can say it out loud or to yourself. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I have patience. May I be happy. And may I be loved. Let's allow those to fill our space. almost as though it's radiating beyond our physical body that we dropped into. As if those words were energetic layers beyond our being. We can be robed in those words, that energy as we move through our physical practice today, this moving meditation of loving kindness. Let's chant the mantra on together. So we'll exhale, inhale, and then we'll exhale for own. So exhale, inhale. Oh. Now maybe open the eyes if they're closed. Perhaps bring the arms out like a T. We just let them hang, the fingers point towards the ground, kind of like that spot, Spanish moss on the trees down in the bayou or along that Gulf Coast. That Spanish moss just hanging off the limbs of the trees, maybe kind of swaying forward and back as if there was a slight breeze. Yeah. Maybe beginning to move the fingers forward and back as we sway forward and back. 
loosening up the wrists a little bit. And maybe as we kind of rock back and forth with those hips, we bring the palms to the sky as if we're holding a bowl of soup and then pour that soup out, just moving those wrists, palms up, palms down. Get that gentle rock in the hips, moving those wrists. Soup comes up, drop the soup, turn it back. And now bring everything to the center, shoulders over hips, fingers point down, and then sweep the arms above the head, maybe finding prayer or they can be apart. Let's exhale, bring the hands to the floor in front of us, maybe coming off the sits bones to really reach far and then drop the sits bones back and press the hands into the ground. The hands might slide back towards the body. And then bring that chin to the chest, press the hands into the ground and see if you feel that response between the shoulder blades. And just drop in. And another breath in. And exhale, plant that hand, the left hand kind of in the middle. Maybe if you were to glance up, it might be under the nose. Sweep the right hand back, maybe to that low back, to that sacrum, and then bring the head down, press the left hand down, and kind of open that right shoulder. Breathe in. And then exhale, sweep the right hand forward, place it where the left hand was, kind of in the middle. And then sweep the left hand back to that sacrum. Press the hand on the low back. Send the left shoulder back, that left elbow back. Press the right hand down. And dip that chin to the chest. One more breath. And now exhale, engage that core, kind of bring the chin off the chest, feel the legs active. So activate the thighs and now keep the core tight. We're gonna bring our right hand to that low back. So let the right hand hover and then hover it behind to place it on top of the left hand maybe. And then with the active core, Draw the shoulders over the hips. Yeah. Slow and steady. And then shine that heart forward. Bring the hands kind of to that, the back pockets. Pinch the shoulder blades together. Bring the shoulders back. Lift the head up to the sky. And then chin to the chest. Keep those shoulder blades together. And now bring the gaze back to the middle, neutral kind of neck. Maybe you drop back into the sits bones a little more. Bring the hands to the thighs or the knees. And then let's dip that right ear over to the right shoulder. Maybe that right hand comes to the side of the head. You're not gonna press on the head. You're just gonna rest the hand on the head and notice how just that little bit of weight might open up the left side of the neck, just a skosh. Now let's bring the right hand to the knee really slowly. Keep the ear to the shoulder, bring the ear to the middle. Drop that right sits bones back down and then the left ear to the left shoulder. Drop that right elbow down, the right elbow kind of pulls the right shoulder down and then bring the left hand if you want to the side of the head, not pressing down, just letting that gravity and the weight of the hand, just encourage that ear to the shoulder, the right side of the neck. Maybe giving a gentle stretch. Maybe close the eyes, feel into the neck or into the low back. And now release the hand from the head and to the knee, bring the gaze forward. Let out a breath and maybe roll that neck around a couple times. Forward and back, switching directions. Not freaking out if we hear some snap, crackle, pop. Just letting the body move, letting that air and ether elements move as we move our neck. And how about we come and do a downward facing dog whenever you're ready. You've got a blanket on your mat. You can move it if you need to. Sometimes I 
move mine just so I get a little bit better grip. <clears throat> you can move that blanket so it's kind of in the middle of the mat in case you want to come to a knee later. But let's press the hips up and back and stretch out that low back. And now maybe we nod the head yes and shake the head no, letting the gravity pull on the neck, the weight of the head. Just letting gravity be our friend today. Maybe the heels are to the ground. Hands can press in. You can be on your forearms if you want. Maybe come onto the balls of the feet, bend the knees almost to the ground, and then lift the knees up. You can pedal out the legs. Just letting this be kind of a loosey goosey downward facing dog. <clears throat> and now one more breath in. And on the exhale, let's lower down our knees underneath the hips. If you have your blanket there, they can be on your blanket. If not, they can be on the mat. And then from here, let's sweep their hips to the right, gaze over the left shoulder, and then bring the hips to the left, gaze over the right shoulder. And maybe do that a couple more times. You can walk your hands further in front if it's kind of like a puppy dog. Arms might feel better. Just kind of moving the spine in all directions today. And now from here, let's step our right foot between the hands. Maybe send the hips back for just a breath, sending that right leg long, just a little pause here. Our Ardha Hanumanasana, we'll spend more time later. And then bend that knee, bring the right foot back, step the left foot between the hands, send the right knee back and straighten that front leg, just a little bit of good morning to the back of the legs. Moving the ankle around if it feels good. And then step the foot forward, bending the left knee, and then step the right foot to meet the left. Let's rise all the way up. <sighs> Maybe snap, crackle, pop the knees or the fingers. Sometimes it's kind of nice to interlace the fingers and do like a little this <laughs> back and forth if you can. It always seems easier to go one way. Just opening up their wrists. And now when you're ready, roll the shoulders back, bring the palms to face the thighs. And let's offer a little active mountain pose today. So ground those feet, roll the shoulders up and back. And now energetically pull outward towards the side of the mat. So the right foot pulls right, the left foot pulls left. Feel this outer hip activate, maybe the glutes a little bit. You can bend the knees a little. And now let go of that active mountain pose and maybe rock back and forth on the feet. Now ground the feet again, bend the knees just slightly. And now active mountain pose, pulling those feet outward, activating the sides of the legs. And just know that this is here for you whenever you want to have a little more active mountain pose. This is one way to get an active mountain pose, whether you're in the line at the grocery store, maybe you're in the line or on the line at the counter doing dishes. Just bring some awareness to the side of the body. And now let's release the effort. Stand tall. Inhale. And exhale, bend the knees, fold it forward, Uttanasana. Bend the knees again, rise it up, reaching up. Tadasana, exhale, bend the knees, fold it forward, Uttanasana, do it again, bend the knees, rise up. And then exhale, bend and fold, Uttanasana. Let's pause here, grab opposite elbows, and now let the elbows pull on the shoulders. And now the head can be heavy, maybe you rock side to side, maybe you move the head forward and back. Breathing in and out. And now bend the knees, let's sweep the arms up to the sky. We're gonna do a little sun breath with our Uttakatasana. So here's our chair pose, breathe in. Exhale, bring the arms out in front and the shoulders, open the arms up like a T. Now twist over to the right, the knees, keep them in line, inhale. Exhale, bring the arms to the middle, out in front, let's rise up. Sweep the arms to the side, sit back in the chair and then sweep the arms in front. 
Yeah, exhale over to the left, twisting. The left arm goes back, knees are side by side, inhale. Exhale, sweep the arms in front of the shoulders. Inhale, rise. Good, exhale, bend the knees, hands come down to the side and then sweep them up when we get into our chair, inhale. Exhale, open up to the right, knees are side by side, wide arm goes back, uh-huh. Exhale, come forward, rise up, Tadasana. Just for a breath, arms come to the side, sit down, chair. Nice, sweep the arms up, beside the ear. And then exhale, twist to the left, knees are side by side, pause, inhale. Exhale, sweep that left hand forward, rise up, arms come up. Exhale, sweep it down, chair. Inhale, rise the arms up. Uh, you got it. Exhale, over to the right, knees are side by side, pause for a breath. Exhale, arms come in front of the shoulders. Inhale, rise to Dasana. Exhale, hands come down, you sit in chair. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, open to the left, twist, pause. Exhale, left arm comes forward, arms rise above the head. Exhale, Tadasana. And then find your expression of Tadasana. Maybe it's more passive, maybe it's active, pulling those feet outward. Feel the breath. Maybe saying to yourself, may I be filled with loving kindness. May I have patience. May I be happy. May I be loved. And helping the arms above the head. Exhale, ground that left foot, step the right foot back. Yep, bring the toes of the or the ball of the right foot to the ground. Straighten that front leg, keep the right heel lifted. Inhale, exhale, hinge forward at the waist. Bending that front knee as much as you need to, reaching through the fingertips, breathe in. Now exhale, rise, arms come above the shoulders, come on to the, the full right foot, that sounds weird, but ground that heel. And now lift the toes of the left foot. And then press that left heel into the earth, rise through the fingers, inhale. Exhale, hinge forward, ground that front foot, come onto the ball of the right foot and hinge, reaching with the fingertips forward, inhale. Exhale, rock it back, wrists over shoulders, come on to ground the right foot, lift the toes of the left foot, like a little seesaw. Exhale, come onto the full left foot, onto the ball of the right foot, hinge at the waist, reach forward, inhale. Now pause here. Exhale, bend that front knee. Let's bring the hands to the ground or hands to the blocks. And then with awareness, with control, let's lift that right foot up. The blocks are there to help us. When you come into our expression of some standing splits, maybe you bend that back leg and you just kind of come onto the hands or the blocks or the toe, breathe in. And now exhale, bring that right foot to meet the left. Bend the knees, rise and meet in Tadasana. And any variation of Tadasana. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's inhale to bring the arms out like a T, fingertips draping down that Spanish moss and maybe rock forward to the balls of the feet and then rock back more weight on the heels and just sway forward and back. Feeling a little bit of effortlessness. Nice job guys, really nice. And exhale, bring hands to the heart. Ground into that right foot. Set the left foot back, stay on the ball of that left foot. Let's bend the knee just a little bit. And then when you're ready, straighten that front leg. Keep the left heel lifted. Inhale, bring the arms above the head and then we'll hinge at the waist, reaching through the fingers. That core is active, nice and strong. Breathe in. Now exhale to rise, ground that heel, lift the toes of the front foot towards the sky. Press the heel down. 
And then exhale, bring the foot to the floor, the left heel lifts and hinge. Reach to the fingertips. Grounding in the loving kindness and patience, happiness and love. Exhale, rock that foot back, point the toe to the sky, arms, fingertips to the, to the heavens, inhale. And now last time, exhale to bring that foot to the ground, the left heel lifts and we hinge. Heart parallel with the floor, breathe in. Mm -hmm. And when you're ready, exhale to bring those hands to the block, bend the knee, and then find your expression of standing splits. Maybe the forehead is parallel with the knee, or maybe it's parallel with the floor. If you come onto the ball, the right foot, because you've got the blocks and your hands are to support you. It's kind of exploring these different ways of grounding. One more breath. Now exhale, bend that right knee. Step the left foot to meet the right. Bring your feet a little bit wider than the hips. Point the toes out. Maybe you find malasana. If you have your blocks, you can stack them. Maybe you sit on those blocks with the knees out. Or yes, exactly. Or you can find that sumo. You guys got it. it can be sumo opening those hips. Or those blocks can stack. A little more passive malasana. Let's be here for a few breaths. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I have patience. May I be happy. May I be loved. Let the breath go. On an inhale, make your way to stand, however you get there. Maybe you bring the hands down, the feet forward. Maybe you rise right out of your malasana and come to stand. Nice job. And then your variation of mountain pose. Maybe it's your active mountain pose, maybe it's passive. Connect with your breath, connect in this moment. And now visualize yourself standing at the front of your mat as if you were your pet in the room or a fly on the wall. Just visualize yourself in this shape, in this moment. And then we'll inhale, reach up to sky. Exhale, fold it forward, Uttanasana. One breath here. And then exhale, find that flat back and reach through the crown of the head for that active core. Breathe in. Exhale, fold it forward. Hands come to the ground. Ground the right foot. Let's step the left foot back, pivot the heel down. And then with the front knee bent, we'll spring those arms back and then forward, finding that variation, that expression of warrior two. So right leg is bent, left leg back. Uh huh. Now bring that left hand down, reach the right arm to sky. Maybe it comes all the way across the head, but extending through the right hand and right arm. Maybe the left hand, that palm shines forward and it's not on the leg, it's a little more active. A little more passive with the hand resting on the leg. Let's be here for a breath. And now exhale, bring the arms back out. Extend, uh-huh. Let the fingers drape that Spanish moss some effortlessness here. And then lengthen through the fingers, nice strong hand, and then bring that elbow on the top of the thigh, reach up to sky with the hand or across the ear. Send that shoulder back, breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. Now exhale, sweep that left arm back, fingertips point forward. Yes, shoulders over your hips. Let's be here for a breath. And then another one. Another breath. Exhale, straighten that leg, bring hands to the hips. Roll the shoulders up and back. Maybe you can lift that left foot a little bit closer to the right, and then extend the arms out again. Reach the right hand past the foot, and then hinge at the waist. Right arm on the front of that leg, left arm to sky. If you want a little more active triangle, you can bring that arm out past the shoulder, the palm shining to the sky. Breathe in. 
And now exhale, bring that left arm down, the right arm comes up. Pivot their toes towards the long edge. Just shine the palms down towards the ground again. Here's our extended mountain pose. Now, if you want, you can press into the floor with the feet and pull those feet towards the short edges of the mat. Feel how active that is in the thighs. Or you can not press into the pinky edge of the foot and just feel that difference. Let's breathe in. Now exhale, bring hands to the hips, pivot the heels together, and then find your expression of malasana. Maybe you sit on the blocks, maybe you come all the way down into malasana, you bring your chin to the chest, and maybe you're in your sumo. And let's be the witness and just visualize our body in this shape. In and out. One more breath. And then let the breath go. And however it makes sense to you, find your way to your mountain pose. And once you get to mountain pose, extend that mountain pose. And then feel into the shape. Are you going to press through the pinky sides of the feet and feel those active? sides of the legs, or you just rest more on the entire foot. Breathe in. And then bring your hands to the hips. Put that left foot towards the short edge, bend that knee, and then here we are in our Veer Bhadrasana two on the other side. And then when you're ready, extend those fingertips short edge to short edge. Really bending into that knee as much as you want or as little as you want. And then press into the pinky edge side of that right foot. And do you feel that right side of the leg active? Glance past that middle finger. And now let's relax the palms and those Spanish moss arms. Seeing some effortlessness in the arm. And then exhale, extend active hands. Bring the right arm on the side of that right leg. Reach the left arm across the sky. Deeper read to Vir Padrasana two. Breathing in and out. Breathe in. Exhale, bring the elbow to the top of the thigh, right arm across the ear or up to the sky. Breathe in and out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And now this time on our exhale, let's bring the right hand kind of towards the left leg and the left hand on the inside of the left leg. Bring the hands to the ground. So you're going to pivot on to the ball of the right foot. Lower that right knee to the ground and bring the left knee to the ground. And then bring those knees wide. Send the sits bones down towards the heels, finding child's pose. Notice your heart beating in your chest. And then as the witness, say to yourself that you see on the ground in this shape, may you be filled with loving kindness. May you have patience. May you be happy. May you be loved. Say one more time to yourself on the mat as if you were looking at yourself from across the room. May you be filled with loving kindness. Let's exhale to lift the hips, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, finding that tabletop. And pause here, see yourself in the shape and say to yourself, may you have patience. Ground the hands, ground that knee, extend the right leg back, feel the heart lift just a touch as you reach to the heel of that right leg and then see yourself and say, may you be happy. 
Exhale, bring the right knee down. Inhale, extend the left leg back through the heel to the back of the mat, the crown of the head reaching forward. And say to yourself, may you be loved. Exhale, bring that left knee down. Curl the toes under, let's bring the knees up and the hips up and then find our auto mukha shanasana. Good, inhale, bring the right leg to sky, reach through the heel, try to keep the hips square, not opening up the hips, but keeping it square. And now maybe stack the hips, bend the knee, glance under that right elbow or the left armpit, and then bring the right foot down. Exhale to lower the knees down, heart parallel with the floor. Inhale, extend the left leg back, reaching through the heel. And then exhale, lower the left knee. Inhale, reach the right leg back, reaching through the heel, and then lower the left knee. Curl the toes under, lift the knees, and then bring the hips up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Ground those hands, feel the heart, and the thighs reaching for each other. Inhale, lift the left leg to sky. Try to keep the hips square to the earth still. Breath in. And then exhale, bend the knees, stack the hips, opening up towards the side of the mat. Maybe moving those, that ankle. And then exhale, left leg comes down. Now gently, let's do this with, with control. Bend the knees, hover them slowly into tabletop. Really, really slow. And then lower the knees. Walk the hands really far forward. Lower the heart. Here's our puppy pose, Anahatasana. Let those sits bones really reach up and the arms come down, extending through the spine and the low back. Breathe in. And then now exhale, let's walk the hands underneath the shoulders. Send that left foot off the side of the left mat so the foot comes behind us. Send the right leg towards the right edge of the mat, the short edge, and then walk the hands forward. And then we'll rise up, our left hip over the left knee, the right leg long. Parigasana, gate pose. Uh-huh. And let's find those Spanish moss arms, arms out with the hands kind of drape. And then maybe this time we kind of rock towards the right and to the left, bringing some movement into the hip socket again. Maybe close the eyes. Just feel yourself moving through space. You be the witness and see yourself moving through space. And now pause with the shoulders over the hips. Good, exhale, reach that left hand to the ground, the right arm to sky, the hand can hover, or can find the, a block. And let's activate the side of the body by reaching through with the right fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, bring the arms back out, shoulders over the hips, bring the hands forward, shine towards each other like we did in chair. And now exhale, bring hands to the floor, walk them forward. The right foot can stay on the ground or you can kind of turn the toes to the sky and plant the foot again. And we'll have our variation of puppy pose, opening up the inner thigh of that right leg. Mm -hmm. Palms to the ground. Breathe in and out. Breathe in, exhale side. One more breath. Our exhale lifts our heart and our head. We walk our hands towards the knee. Now this time we're gonna pivot the left foot towards the mat, the right foot comes under the heel and then now here we are on our Ardha Hanumanasana, maybe facing the back of the mat or at least facing the short edge. And then surrender over that extended leg. Breathing in and out. And in and out. One more breath in. 
Now exhale, kind of come onto the fingertips, so maybe the blocks. Bend the right knee just a little bit so you can bring that right knee to meet the left. Now let's bring the left leg forward. So the left heel is forward and then straighten that left leg and we'll find our Ardha Hanumanasana on the other side. Surrender and bow over that extended leg. Adjusting the right knee so it, just, it feels right underneath the hip. It doesn't have to be directly under the hip. But finding what's gonna allow your body to fold. And exhale. And inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. Now exhale, bring that left hand on the right side of the left leg. Bring the left foot to the ground so it goes to the long edge and bring the right foot towards the other long edge of the mat. Bring those knees apart and then we'll find our gate pose as we lift our shoulders up over the hips. The left leg is long this time, the right knee is down. And find those Spanish moss arms. And maybe allow yourself to sway in the breeze, close the eyes. Imagine like a salty mist of the air, that breeze off the sea or the gulf. And then when you're ready, find some stillness. And then bring that right hand towards the earth. Maybe it finds the earth, maybe it finds a block. And reach through the fingertips of the left hand. Again, be closing the eyes. You can reach the left arm over the ear. Now reach the left arm up. Gently lift off the earth or the block with that right arm. Shoulders over hips, grounding the foot, and then walk the hands, hinge the waist and walk the hands forward, finding that puppy pose with the leg out and breathe in and out. And find some surrender here, find a little bit of effortlessness here. One more breath. Now exhale, plant up with the hands. Let's bend that left knee just a little bit and then bring the left knee to meet the right. So now we're in puppy pose. The heart comes down again. Inhale. And now exhale, lower down the forearms if they're not already. Elbows come down. Bring the shoulders forward, kind of over the elbows. Extend the legs long and come onto your belly. Lowering down, lowering down. Maybe resting the hands on, or the forehead on the back of the hands. Noticing the belly, breathing into the floor, the heart beating into the floor, and ground into those rhythms. Let out a sigh. On your next exhale, maybe lifting the head, coming onto one side and rolling over gently to your back. When you get to your back, maybe it feels really nice to hug the knees into the chest and rock side to side. Maybe you want to send your feet to the sky. Maybe you want to find your reclined butterfly. Just feeling into this physical body. Kind of following where the energy leads. Maybe letting out a sigh. 
And it says, if that sign were the advent of rest. And when they're ready, you can extend the legs long, maybe cover up with a blanket and find your Shavasana. Just let go. Go on any effort. There's no more active pinky side of the foot. There's no more pressing heel into the ground or extending through fingertips. There's just a letting go and, and resting. Resting. As we rest, I'll just say our loving kindness, meditation, and just let it fall into your space, drifting like that Spanish moss off the branches, just letting it just kind of drift into your space. You can repeat it or you can just let it land. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I have patience. May I be happy. May I be loved. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I have patience. May I be happy. May I be loved. Now be the witness. Is it not fly on the wall or a pet in the room and say to yourself that body and soul lying on? the mat under a blanket. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you have patience. May you be happy. May you be loved.
may you be filled with loving kindness. May you have patience. May you be happy. May you be loved. Remain on your back, the Mishnah is allowing this to fill your space. Be robed in these words, in this energy of loving kindness. Such an honor to share space with all of you. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Oh.